instrument in the hands of God is an angel and can make a difference in their own life as well as in the lives of others. This is the stuff that miracles are made of. One night as I finished my shift at the hospital, I was really tired. I never got, it was never 3 to 11. I didn't get home sometimes till 1 o'clock in the morning. I was tired. I was walking up the stairs to my apartment door. And all of a sudden, I noticed that on the porch, there were some beautiful flowers. And there was one of those little prong things in it with a note, a little card. I thought, oh, who did this? And I immediately started saying, you know, I got to do something nice for them. Got to get even. And... So I got everything in the house, picked up the flowers, took them in, opened up the little envelope, and the card said something like, uh, I just want you to know that I appreciate your kindness and friendship, and you need to know that you are loved. And they didn't sign it. Okay, that's not fair. Because I had to be nice to everybody. And one thing I noticed is, as I went about the next, oh, couple of weeks, till the flowers died, I could, I could look at people in my family, people at work, people in my neighborhood, strangers, and say, he could have done it, she could have done it. I started thinking the best about other people, and I thought, oh, this is amazing, something like this is happening to me. So if you want to bother someone, <laughs> I'm just saying. I love the invitation in Doctrine and Covenants section 11, verse 12. And now verily, verily, I say unto thee, Put your trust in that spirit which leadeth to do good. Yea, to do justly, to walk humbly, to judge righteously. And this is my spirit. The spirit of God, the Holy Ghost, teaches us that there are opportunities all around us to do good, to be good, to help. Elder Holland shared this. I have spoken here of heavenly help, of angels dispatched to bless us in time of need. But when we speak of those who are instruments in the hands of God, we are reminded that not all angel, angels are from the other side of the veil. Some of them we walk with and talk with here, now, every day. Some of them reside in our own neighborhoods. I testify of angels, both the heavenly and the mortal kind. In doing so, I am testifying that God never leaves us alone, never leaves us unaided, in the challenges that we face. And we all face challenges, don't we? I love the...